We are going, we're just reviewing the Mishnah again. We're going to do the Mishnah again that we did yesterday. We're on 26 a, A2, 26 A, 26 A2, we're going over what we did yesterday. So real quick, and we're going to do this Mishnah very quickly. But here we go again. The, 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 the Kahanim was split into 24 Mashmaris. The, 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 the people, i.e. the remaining Kahanim, Levim, and Yisraelim, were then split into 24 Mamodais because the carbon tumid, the everyday sacrifice in the morning and the afternoon are communal. By definition, they're the people's carbon. The people need to be there when the Kabbalists are brought because the Kabbalists, the reason for the Kabbalists is that really a person is supposed to think I'm supposed to be the carbon. So he should be there. So they were like the representatives for the nation as a whole, and they, the whole nation was split into 24. This is what our Mishnah talks about. Okay, so Jerry, Jeff and I did, did this yesterday with my father, but we're going to repeat it now. We're going to do it quickly because a lot of this we have learned previously, but this is the Mishnah that throws it all together. Here we go. Three times of the year. Kahanim noisiness kapeim, the Kahanim do birchas Kahanim, Arba Potim Bayoim, four times during the day. Bishachris, Bimusif, Bimincho, Benilas Sharim, Betanyois, by the fast that have to do with rain, Bimamodois, that is when the people's turn came to stand in for the rest of the nation. Ubi Yoyma Kipurim and Anyama Kipurim. Obviously, this is not done today. We certainly don't do Birchus Kahanim four times a day. Number two, the Gemara is going to explain that this is not, it sounds like all one thing it can't be because there are the, during the Tanesim who said there was Musa. There was no Musa. So we're going, to, we're going to get explanations of this first paragraph in the Gemara. Says the Gemara, it says the Mishnah, Eluhei Mamodais. What are the Mamodais? In other words, the fish and Abbot Savas Bene Sobia Marto Lamas Kobani Lachmi, it says, Command the children of Israel and tell them I offering my food, having to do with the carbon tumid, the carbon of every single day. So that means it is a communal, it is a communal carbon, and Klal Yisrael, Israel is a partner in the carbon. So says the Mishnah, Can a person's sacrifice be offered and he's not present? He is part and parcel of the sacrifice. In fact, he needs to be cognizant of the fact that the sacrifice is only replacing him, him as the sacrifice. Therefore, the first Nevi'im could set up they divided the Kahanim and the Levim into 24 groups to serve in the base of Middash twice a year, once every six months. Al Kol Mishma, the Mishma, and corresponding to every single one of those 24 Mishmarim, they stood up. Members of Kahanim, Levim, Israel would come to stand when the offerings were being offered, to stand as the emissaries of the people as a whole. When it came time for each Mishma to go up, the Kahanim of that Mishma would go up from their hometowns to Yerushalayim. The Yisrael Sheba Yisrael Mishma Miskatin L'Oreyim and the Yisraelim assigned to that Mishma, in other words, the Maimed the Maimed of that of that Yerushalayim would assemble in their towns. Some of them would go to Yerushalayim and the remainder would remain in their towns and they would spend the week fasting and staying in shul and reading from the Karnan Maisa Voracious and read from the narrative of the creation. And the people of the Maimed would fast Arba Yomim Bishur four days of the week. 26 A3, 26A3. From Monday to Thursday. Not on Friday, Erev Shabbos, but they covered a Shabbos. 
you shouldn't go into Shabbos hungry. And not on Sunday. So that on Sunday, you shouldn't go from rest and pleasure of Shabbos, from the high of Shabbos to the total low of the toil and fast of Sunday and become faint. Now, the readings that the Maimons did were from my separations from the uh, from the creation by Yomarishin on Sunday, they would read from Bereshis until Yehirakia. In other words, eight Pesukim, the first five, and then six, seven, eight. The problem with this is, which we're going to get into later, is that in order to have aliyos, you need three aliyos, Kai and Levi Yisrael, and each aliyah needs to be at a minimum three Pesukim. The problem here is in the first grouping, which has only five psukim, you only end up with three and two. So the Gemara is going to tackle this. On Monday, they began from where they left off the first day, Yehirakia, and read until Yekabu Amayim, let the waters gather. Bishlishi Yekabu Amayim, they start from where they left off and they go to Yehimar. Ma'ayrais, let them be luminaries. On the fourth day, Rabbi Yehimaris, they start with Yehimaris, and they go to Yeshua Tzai, Ma'amayim, let the water swarm. V'chamishi, on, on Thursday, Yerzu Ha'amayim, V'toy Tzayaris. On Thursday, they read, let the water swarm, and let the word of earth come bring forth. V'shishi, they would start with V'toy Tzayaris, and end with V'yuchulu Ha'amayim. Now, Parsha Gedoyla, that means the first paragraph, which was always five psukim, Two people would get an aliyah, which of course becomes problematic because two people, it's impossible with five. It needs at least six because you need to do three and three. And here you only have three and two. The Gemara is going to talk about it. In the shorter paragraph of only three, plus six, six, seven, and eight, they would, what do you call one person? This was followed with chakras and at Musaf. But by Mincha, they would come in and read their verses by heart. Like somebody would read Shema. You don't need to read Shema inside. You could do Kriya Shema even outside by, by, by heart. Erev Shabbos by Mincha. Friday afternoon by Mincha, they wouldn't conduct the Maimon services because of the honor to Shabbos, they would get ready for Shabbos. Now, call Yom Sheesh by Halal, a Maimon Bishakras. On any day where Halal is cited, and as Tracy's explains, we're talking about Hanukkah, because Hanukkah does not have, what do you call it? Hanukkah does not have, um, What's it called? Hanukkah does not have uh, Muslim. Does not have Muslim. Hang on one second. I'm so sorry. I'm just getting out my plug because I can see I only have 50% left on my phone. So hang on. I'm getting that ready in case we run short. Here we go. Okay. So in short, here we go. So there's no Maimed service on Shachas. It's Shachas. And obviously there is no Musaf on Chanukah. Karben Musaf, on a day where there's a Musaf being brought, then they didn't do the Maimed service even on the Elo. Even on the extra Elo that they said, the, that the people on the Maimed would say, Carbon eats him on the days of the holidays of the bringing of the wood into the base amigdash so that there was enough wood for the atse amizbeach, the wood for the altar. Ain be mincha. They would not say the maimed by mincha. Divi Rabbi Akiva. On this, Amalai ben Azai, Kalorke ben Azai, Kachay Rabbi Yeshua Shino. This is what Rabbi Yeshua taught. Carbon Musaf. That when there's a Musaf offering, the Maimon isn't even done at Mincha. Carbon eats him. When it was a carbon eats him, when he ate the wood offerings, Ain ben Neila were now on 26.84. There was no Maimon service even by Neila. 
And Chazer Rabbi Akiva, Leah, Shaina, and Ben Azai, Rabbi Akiva agreed with Ben Azai. This is 26A4, heading to the end of the army. Zaman Atse Kahanim Ba'am Tisha. The wood vessels and the people who set up were nine times a year. Be'echad Benisim B'nei Arach Ben Yehuda. On the first Benisim, the family of Arach of Yehuda brought the wood. Be'esim B'tamuz B'nei David Ben Yehuda. The, the, the family of David ben Yehuda, that would be of King David. ben Yehuda. on the seventh above, b'nei Yenoda ben Rechel. Be'esim b'ay, b'nei son of ben Benyamin. B'chamish also b'ay, b'nei Zatu ben Yehuda. And with them, on the 15th of the month, imoyim kahanim alaviyim b'chol mishato b'shiftai. And among them with the Kahanim and Levim, anyone who was uncertain of his tribal affiliation, meaning he knew he belonged to one of these families over here, but he was they weren't sure which family they belonged to because in history had passed, time had passed, and they weren't sure to which group they belonged. Ubenei Goinvei Eli, Ubenei Koitze Kitsios, and the family of the pestle smugglers and the families of the fig cutters. And the Gemara is going to explain exactly what this means. Be'esrim boy on the 20th, B'nei Pachas Mo'yav ben Yehuda, Be'esrim Be'el, on the 20th of El, B'nei Yodim ben Yehuda, Be'achad B'tevis Shuboy, B'nei Parshay Shaniyah, on the first of Tevis, the family of Parshays went a second time. And so it all began again. So here we go. On the first of Tavis, therefore, there was no Maimit service. by Halel, there was Halel because of Rosh Chaydish, who carbon Musaf, and there was a carbon Musaf because of Rosh Chaydish, and the carbon ate him, and there was a wood offering. So, therefore, according to everybody, there's no Maimit on the first day of Tavis. Chamisha Devarim Yiru, as I've said, Mishim also Betamos. Five terrible things happened to our forefathers on the 17th of Tammuz, Bechamisha Betishabam, and five on Tishabam. Bishiva also Betamuz on the 17th of Tammuz, we're now on Amid Beis, Chavvav Amid Beis, okay, 26B1. Nistavu Aluchas, the Luchas were broken. Maisha Rabbeinu came down from the mountain on Shiva also Betamuz, saw the golden cap, the, the eagle, and, and the Luchas were broken. The Tomid was discontinued. That was either by the Greeks at the time of Hanukkah or later on by the Romans. But either way, that's when the tar- the, the, the everlasting tar- carbon was stopped. Tomid means always. The hook for her ear and the city walls were breached. The Saraf Apoistomois burnt the Torah. Inside the base of Mikdash was the safety of Ezra Saifa. Ezra, when he came up the, 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 from the first Golos, came up with a safer, wrote a safer, and that was the safer, the template for all our Sifre Torah. And Apoptimus went ahead and burnt that safer Torah. Behemoth Selim Behechel, and he put an adulterous image in the sanctuary. The Tishuba of, on the Tishuba of, what happened? Nixon of essential Nicholas Lawrence. It was decreed by the Miraglin, by the spies, that they judged that, that, that because they were crying for no reason, Chayek Hashem said that I'm going to make this day a day of everlasting tears for the Jewish people. And that was, of course, on Tishabo. What else happened? That this, therefore, Bechara of Abayis, Bishayim, Bishnir, both. Beis Hamikdash is the first and the second were destroyed on the ninth. Of all the Nilkindod Beitar and the city of Beitar was captured, and two million people were killed, and the blood flowed out of Beitar for two years. The Nechushayir and the city of Yerushalayim was plowed under. Mishenichnas Av. Therefore, when Av comes in, Mematim Besimcha, we lessen and we curtail our joy. We don't stop being joyful because mitzvah gedayla lia is besimcha tamid. It's a great mitzvah to be joyful always. Nonetheless, we curtail it. How do we curtail? Shabbos shechal tishabov, the week of tishabov, shvur shechal vay tishabov, 
Leos b'seichai, also with the sabal or lechabes. You're not allowed to cut. You're not allowed to cut your hair and launch your clothing. The chamishi mutter b'nei covered Shabbos. If Tishba falls on a Friday, you're allowed to launder your clothes on Thursday for the honor of Shabbos. Erev Tishabov, Loyachal Adam Shnei Tapshil, and a person should not eat two cooked foods, Veloyachal Bossa, Veloyayin, should not eat meat or drink wine, Rabbi Shimon and Gamliel, Loyma, Yeshena, all he has to do is make a change. Rabbi Yehuda Mechayi Bekapitha Zamito, Rabbi Yehuda says, turn over your bed and sleep on the floor. Veloy Hoydalach and Chaman Chaman did not agree. We Ashkenazim, we start with Rish not to cut here and not to wash our clothes, etc. But the uh, the real aloha itself is from Shur Shachal by Tishbab, the actual week that Tishbab pulls in. Amar Rav Shimon ben Gamliel. Lo yahayu yomim tamin li yisro b'chamisha osa b'hov u b'yom ekipurim. Klai Yisrael never had such wonderful joy for Yom Toivim as two b'hov, the 15th of Av, and Yom Kippur. And on two b'hov, what happened? Shebehed b'nois Yerushalayim yaitzis b'klei lov and sh'ulin. The girls of Yerushalayim would go out in white clothes that were borrowed. Why were they all borrowed? Shalai levayish says me she'elai. Not to embarrass somebody did not have any. So even the rich girls had to go ahead and borrow dresses. But because they were all borrowing dresses, one from the other, therefore we weren't sure whether the dresses were tame or tahar, contaminated or pure. Therefore, kola kelev to unin to vilo. All the dresses require an immersion in a mikvah. B'nois Yerushalayim yotzeis v'chay lanis b'keromim. And then the girls would go out and prance among the vineyards and dance. We're now on 26B2. And they would say as follows. The pretty girls would say, Young man, raise your eyes. And see what you could choose for yourself. That was the pretty girls. The girls who were kind of plain, but came from good families, distinguished homes, said, don't pay attention to beauty. Pay attention to family. And then the girls who were neither pretty nor came from great families, they would say the following. Grace is false and beauty is vain. A woman who fears Hashem should be praised. Vaimeh, the next pasuk says, "Tenula mi priyadel v'yalulua b'asharim asel." Give her the fruits of her hands and let her be praised in the cities for with her deeds. The chainu vaimeh and Rav Shimon Gamliel goes further. Zenet said, "Zenet of Arena b'noi Zion by Melech Shlaima." Go and graze the daughters of Zion upon King Shlaima, as I explained yesterday. Zenet of Arena. My grandmother, Alea Shalom, there was no base Yaakovs in her time. And so she was going to a gymnasium. So how did she know anything about Judaism and what she was supposed to do? There was a sefer in Yiddish called the Tzena Verena that was written for the girls. And every girl at the age of 12 got a copy of the Tzena Verena. I actually have it still somewhere in my basement here in, in New York. What he called that was my grandmother's Santa Verena. Jerry, you might know something about this as well. Santa Verena. Santa Benoist, see on Gimelach Schleimo, but Torosh Itudloi Imoi Beyoim Hasunosa and Beyoim Simchas Liboi. Adorned with the crown his mother made for him on the day of his wedding, on the day of his heart's joy. The Shimming of Leo learns the Possek as an allegory that King Schleimo Melech is an allusion to Hashem. And his mother is an allusion to Eklal Yisrael. B'yoyim chasenosa izeh matan Torah is the day of the giving of the Torah. B'yoyim simchas liboy, the day of the heart's joy. Zeh binyan beis hamikdash, that was the day of the building of the beis hamikdash. She yibona b'meheda b'yameinu may be spilled speedily in our days. Great. Zakti tomorrow. So the Mishnah said, B'shloi shepurokim b'shoda kahanim loisin eskapeim. Three times a year, the Kahanim bench do birches Kahanim four times a day. Shachis Musif 
need mitra and hilo on fast days, my mother is Kenyan Kippur. So right away the Gemara asks, Taniyah is for my mother, is me a Kibbutzik. Is there a Musaf on a fast day of my mother? So the Gemara says, you're right. We've got to add words to Mishnah as it were. It's as if it was missing words. Chesurei mechsera v'hachi ketani. B'shloi shepirokim kahanim noises kapeim. Three times a year, the Kahanim raise their hands. Kol zaman she'ispalun. Every time they pray. Sometimes it's four times a day, like Yom Kippur, which has four tefillahs. Shachris Musaf Mincha Neilo. Shachris Musaf Mincha Neilo Shari. The Elohim Shalish Parakim. And then there are the three occasions, Titus and our mothers, we are Maki Purim, which have less that do not have a Musaf. Or sometimes have a Musaf. Omer Ram Nachman, Omer Rabba Barabua. Zu Divrei Rameyo. This ruling that every tefillah on those three occasions, on the fast days, the Mahmodes and the Yom Kippurim, the Kahanim blessed the people. Abu Chachamim Aymrim, the Chachamim say, Shachris and Musaf yesh beem nesiyas kapayim. By Shachris and Musaf, there is, there is biches Kahanim. Min Chavani Ilo em beem nesiyas kapayim. Min Chavani Ilo do not have this is Kapamim. My Chachamim. Who are the Chachamim? Rabbi Yehudi. Rabbi Chayudim. The Tanya, because we learn, Shach, Resum, Musim, Minchu, Nihilo, Kulam, Yesh, Bem, This is Kapayim, Dibir, Rameya. All the Tfilas, each Tfil gets its own, Bechaz, Kahanim. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Shach, Resum, Musim, Yesh, Bem, This is Kapayim. Minchu, Nihilo, Ein, Bem, This is Kapayim. But Minchu, Nihilo, there is no Bechaz, Kahanim. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Ne'ilo yesh bo nesiyas kabayim, by ne'ilo there is nesiyas kabayim, there is birchus ka'anim. Mincha ain bo nesiyas kabayim, but by mincha there is no nesiyas kabayim. So we got three different opinions. V'may come a plea. What are they arguing? Rameyer sova. Rameyer says, Kol yoy v'tam amay loy prish ka'anim yitayim v'michasim. What's the reason that the ka'anim do not do Birchis Kahana by Mincha only by Shachris, like the Svadim do today. Okay? How come only by Shachris and not by Mincha? Mishum Shikros, because of drunkenness. 26B3. Because when do they eat? They eat after Shachris, by lunch. By lunch, they take a glass of wine. Or if they're Lubavitch's Chabatskis, they take a cup of vodka. And then they get a little tipsy. No, Adina, but so therefore by mincha we don't want them to be doing biris and when they're tipsy. Oh, you know, like a shechiros. But on the days of the Maimon and Yom Kippur, of the fast days, the Maimon and Yom Kippur, all the days that they're fasting, there's therefore no worried about getting tipsy. So therefore there's no reason not to do biris and by mincha. Rabbi Yehuda Sava Shachris and Musaf to call Yom Eloi Shichas Shikras. All days of the year, drunkenness is not prevalent, prevalent because they usually eat after Yidav and Musaf. Loi Gazav Rabbana, the Rabbana did not decree against saying Bichas Kahanim on a fast day. They said, therefore, you can say it on a fast day too. Mincho Niilo to call Yom Eloi Shichas Shikras, but that late in the day, by that time, people are drinking already. Gazubar Rabbana Rabbana said on a fast day, even though you're not drinking, we don't want you saying Birchis Kahanim at the same time, because then you might come to say Birchis Kahanim during the year when you have been drinking. Rabbi Yaisi Sova, Mincha de Isa Bechoyai. Regarding Mincha, which is done every single day, Gazubar Rabbana, and you're right, the Rabbana says, listen, people could be drunk. So today, by Mincha, on the fast day, the Mamodis and Yom Kippur, we don't want you bearing bench in Kahanim because you might come to do it on a regular weekday. Ni'ilo, the last slave of Ni'ilo, which is not found on every day. It's only found on Yom Kippur. And those who are doing the Maimed and the Tainus for the rain, like Azubar Rabban, and they did not decree against against uh, Birchus Kahanim. They said you could do Birchus Kahanim by Ni'ilo. So now, Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Marav, Halachik Yerameyo. The halach is Rameyo that you do it every single time you daven on the fast days. Rabbi Yechonin Amar, Nahagu Am Kirameyo. 
The people acted in accordance to Rameh. They were noyig. Not that the halach is that way, but that they were noyig. The Rabbah Aminik, it was only a custom that they followed Rameh to do Berchus Kahanim by every Tvila. Man, the Yom HaLoch Kirameya, according to Rav, who says the HaLoch is like Rameya, Darshin Alei Bibirka, we even go ahead and we teach it in the public discourses. Man, the Yom HaMinik, it's only a custom, Midrash like Darshin, we don't teach it publicly, but Uriya Marina, but if somebody comes to ask us, we do Paskin that way, we Paskin like Rameya. Man, the Yom HaNahaku, according to Rav Yochanan, it's only a custom, Iruloi Marina, we definitely don't we definitely don't darshan publicly, and we don't even give the ruling privately. But the e of it, of it, the But if a person goes ahead and does birchas kahanim four times a year, four times a day on that days, no problem. The sky is not falling. Reb Nachman Oma, Reb Nachman Alocha, Kirab Yosi. The fact is, like the bug is Alocha, it's like Reb Yosi that we say it on the ilo, but we don't do mincha. Shabbos, of course, if we do it because people even during the regular year are not drunk yet. But by Mincha, they regularly drink. So we cut out Mincha completely, even on the fast days. But Nihilo, since there's no Nihilo a whole year, right? So it's not a problem. You can still do it as kind of by Nihilo. And the Alok is like Rabbi Yaisi. So it says the Gemara of Adina, my time of Prishikan, be a dive in Mincha, so that's how so. Why today do the Kahana bless the people at Mincha on a fast day? Actually, but what we do on a fast day, normally by Mincha, we don't say Birchus Kahanim. I think on a fast day, we do say Birchus Kahanim before Sim Shalai. I believe so. Not 100% sure, but I believe so. That, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. So then that now we know why. But Tina, today, my time of Pirshi Kahanim, the Daib of Mincha the Tanisa. Why did the Kahanim bless the people at Mincha on a fast day? And what we do today between Bechal Achayim and Simsholai. Chivan the Samach Lishkia Sachamaka Parshe. Since today the Kahanim bless the people at Mincha, they do it so close to sunset because today we're all Hasidish and we dive in Mincha late. And we dab him in Chalei, but get feelings Neila Dabia. The Allah is that it's mamish like a Neila because we dab him in so late. So it turns out, Jerry, that even before the Baal Shem died, it turns out that Klai Yisrael was already davening Mitzchah pretty late already. So therefore, that's why they held you could say that what he called. That's why we do Birchas Kahanim even by Mitzchah Vatayis. So now. This is where we were up to. So we caught up now. Not bad. Okay. So now, now we're on to the, on to the next stop. The Kula Alma Mias, Shikur Isabin Asiyas Kapayim. At any rate, we have now scored down the whole Hamid and took it for granted that Birchas Koyhanim is not allowed to be done in an intoxicated state. Minani Mili, how do you know this? So my father was bothered by this. What do you mean, Nohani Mili? It's Birchus Kahanim. They're benching us. What kind of, where's the COVID if they were drunk? It's a good question. Like, what's, why do you need to bring proof for this? It's obvious. Nonetheless, the Gemara is about to bring proof. And the why of that is going to come up on the next summit. So keep this question in mind, my father's question. What kind of question is this? How do I know that they can't do Birch's comment but intoxicated? That's ridiculous. Of course they can't. There's no respect for Hashem. There's no respect for us. There's no self-respect. So how can they do it? But the answer is, we're going to see that there's a technical, legal reality going on here. But in the meantime, the Gemara explains. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Mishum Bar Kabara. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said in the name of Bar Kabara. Why is the Torah bringing up, in other words, the Psukim of Yivarecha Hashem Yishmarecha, Yoe Hashem Panobe Lecha Bikuneko, Yisa Hashem Panobe Lecha Yosem Chod Shalom? Why is it right near the section of Nazir? What's the Nazir? If you remember, the Nazir is someone who says, that I will, that the person says I, I, that I will not 
uh, drink wine or cut my hair and stop the zeros just for 30 days. Okay? So anyways, Loima, to teach us, Ma Nazir Osir B'Yayin, just like a Nazir is Osir from Yayin, from wine, we're now on 26 before Ka'av Ka'an Ka'yin Mubarech Osir B'Yayin. So to the Kayin who says the Birchus Khan of Yibarech Hashem Yishmerecho, Yoe, Yisa, right, is also forbidden to do the Birchus Khan and while with wine, he's forbidden to drink wine. On this, right, the Gemara Mask of Lobra Abu Adirab Zaira, the father of Zaira asked, Ramila Oishia Bazavdo, and others say it was Oishia Bazavdo, Iman Nosa Osa if that's the case, it just like a nozer is forbidden to eat. Even the seeds of a grape, they're not allowed to eat grapes. Then the kain who's about to do bichskan should also not be allowed to eat the seeds of the grape. And that's not true. He's allowed to eat the grapes. Because the Pasuk says, To serve him and to bless with his name. So in other words, the Torah is comparing the avoid of the temple service to the Birchus Kahan and the priestly blessing. In other words, to serve him, the Shar sign, to serve him, Ulavarik Bishamai, and to bless him in his name. So serving and blessing him are being compared. Just like one who does this Abaida in the base of me, this is allowed to eat the grapes. So to the one who's about to do bench the folk, who's about to do Birchus Kahanim, he's allowed to eat the grapes. We're now on today's daf. Chav Zayin Omen Aleph. Chav Zayin Omen Aleph 27A1. Says the Gemara, wait a minute. Imam Mishores Balmum Lohi. But just like the case of a Kayin in the Bey Samigdash, one who is blemished, he has a various blemish on him. His service is dis- disqualified from doing the service. A blemish coin, a blemish coin that has a blemish, is not allowed to do the service. So it should be the case that a coin who has a blemish should not be able to do the Birchis uh, Kahanim because you just compare the avoid of the service inside the base of Middash to Birchus Kahanim. And you said, just like the service, the Kahanim doing the service are allowed to eat grapes. So the one doing Birchus Kahanim is allowed to eat grapes and take it the next service. And just like the Kahanim serving in the base of Middash are not allowed to be Balai Mumin, are not allowed to be people with blemishes. So to the one doing Birchus Kahanim, blessing the nation, should also be one that does not have any does not have any blemish, says the Gemara. No, ha ikish le nazir. But the kain is also compared to the nazir. A blemish is not a problem because a blemish is not a problem. But in the case of a nazir, so it says the Gemara. Wait a minute. Whoops. So you have a choice now. You can either be compared to the service of the base of English, where a kain with a blemish is no good. Which would then mean that the Kayin who does Birchus Kahanim cannot be blemished, or you can compare him to Nazir and then say by Nazir, what he called that, the, the, the Nazir could be a uh, a blemished person, so too could the Kayin be a blemished person with regard to Birchus Kahanim? So who said which way you want to go? My Chod is the Makshilakula. Who said you want to go with the lenient ruling? Ikish Lechumra, go with, compare it to. The temple service which prohibits blemishes, says the Gemara, Asmachta the Minu Midurabana. Okay, Asmachta, Asmachta the Minu Midurabana. These are merely Asmachtas, rabbinical supports. They do not biblical law. Ulakula, Ulakula, we make it fit the rabbinical law. The answer is, is that. This is all rabbinical. When they go up to go ahead and bless the nation, etc., is all biblical in nature. So therefore, therefore, when it goes ahead, and we're dealing with with, in a, with the with with the rabbinical, we always go the easy way. We never take the hard way. 
So we take the easy way. In this case, we say, listen, to be drunk, we don't want you to be. Okay? Because a nazi can't drink, and doing the service, you can't drink. You obviously can't be drunk. If you go into the base of it, you're drunk, then you're chayib misa. And if, you, if you're a nazi and you drink, you got to start your naziris all over again. So that's a given. The only question is regarding the seeds. Regarding the seeds, we'll go the easy way. We'll go the easy way. That's what we're going to do. Okay? So we're going to go the easy way with regard to the seeds. Okay? But, and what about the blemish? Well, the blemish is a mix. On the one, and if you compare it to the service, you can't be blemished even if you do the priestly blessing. The bich is kahanim. But if you're going to compare it to nausea, just like a blemished person can become a nausea, so to get a blemished person, go ahead and do bich is kahanim. And there we'll go. We'll go. Since we have a choice to go one way or another, we'll go with the kula dick away. Says the Mishnah further. Eloi ma'modos. Because it says, my karma. What is the Mishnah saying? What's the story with this Mamadis that the Jews themselves were split into 24 groups so that there was always a representation for Klai Yisrael in the base of English? My Tam Tiknu Mamadis. But why did we establish this? Command Klai Yisrael. And say to them, as carbonilachmi liishai, my offering my fruits for my fire, which in fires, which implies that the Tomid is a carbon seaborn, a communal offering in which every member of Klai Yisrael is a partner. How can a person offering be offered and he's not standing there? Because again, what's the true purpose of the offerings? For a person to be to do repentance, to do tshuva, and to think that in reality I'm supposed to be the sacrifice, and the animal is really standing in my place. You could only do that when you're there. So he takes the levim arishayim, the first levim established as in rabbon mashmaris. That would be David and Shmuel, as we're about to see. They established 24 Mashmaris of the Gahanam and Levim was split into groups of 24. And I'll call Mishma Gamishman on every corresponding. Mishmar, my Imam, they'd be Yerushalayim. They would stand up in Yerushalayim. So Gahanam is Shalim, Shi Yisraelim. A bunch of Gahanam of Yim Yisraelim would stand in as the emissaries of the people. He gives him our Mishma La'aloys when the time came for the Mishma the, the Mishma to go up, Kahana Bilabiyam, Ayam Yerushalayim, etc. Tanu Rabbana. Arba Esu Rabbo Mashmaris Beheritz Yisro. There were 24 Mashmaris in Eretz Yisro. And the Shtayim Esu Birichai had 12 in Yerichai. Says the Gabar, Shtayim Esu Birichai, Nipshali Tuba, that's too many. We just said there are 24 Mashmaris in all of Eretz Yisrael. Says the Gemara, no, there are only 24. 12 of them were stationed in Yerichai. He gives a man a Mishmah but the time for the Mishmah came up to ascend. Chatsi, well, give me a second. I see my phone is going. Good morning, Daddy. How are you? Give me one second. I got to plug in my phone. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second, everybody. I'm just plugging in my phone because it's about to go. Hold on. We're holding 27A1, Daddy. 27A1. 27. 27. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about Yerichai. Okay. Hegi is a man of Mishmah When the time came for the Mishmah to go up, Half the members of the Mishnah would go up from their towns to Eretz Yisrael, from in Eretz Yisrael to Yerushalayim to serve in the base of Mikdash. The and half of them went to the city of Yerichai. Today she is to Mayu Mozam La Kem Shishlayim in order to supply water and food for their brothers in Yerushalayim. Yerich, we don't think about Jericho, Yerichai today, 
because it's a Palestinian city. But Yericho was a major metropolitan area. Jerry, if you could just tell us, Yericho is, is located where exactly in Eretz Yisrael? It's, it's, it's towards the center, is it not? It's, it's a little it's, south of Yerushalayim, right? Say that again? It's near Yerushalayim. No, I know that, but where in how Jerry, how near to Yerushalayim is it? Jerry? I'm here. I I'm think it's talking. about a half, a half an hour drive once I get outside Yerushalayim. Right. So I think it's about a half hour drive. So if it's a half hour drive and its location was there, it was the idea was they would be in Yerushalayim, their brothers over there would supply the water and food. And then after the middle of the the middle of the week, Tuesday night, they would switch. The Kahanim and Levim from Yerushalayim would come to Yerichai, and Yerichai's Kahanim and Levim and, and Maimit would go to Yerushalayim. And this way, everybody covered everybody else. Other of Yehuda Meshmuel said Rabbi Yehuda Meshmuel, Kahanim and Levim in Yisrael ma'ak p'nes ha'karbim. Kahanim and Levim in Yisrael are essential to the validity of the carbon. Now, now, now remember something about Yer- Yericho. Yeah. The first city when they crossed the yard game was Yericho. Was Yericho, correct. Correct. So you're basically, basically where you are, you're basically east of, you're east of your Shalayim. And you're basically, to... and you're probably the most northern part of Yamamela. That makes a lot of sense. And if you think about it, everybody, you know that the United States, 60%, 60 percent of the population is found between Boston and Washington, D.C. Almost 60 percent of the population is found over there outside of the three. It's, of course, changing now because Florida, Texas and California, but specifically Florida and Texas are growing. But the reason for that is is because that's where they first settled. And that's where Ellis Island was. When people came in, that's where they went. The first stop you go is where most people end up. Eureka was a major metropolitan area. That's the thing. Now, Daddy, you there? Yeah. Okay, because we're about to come to discuss your question of yesterday. I question. Um, yeah, well, we already mentioned it already once. We're going to mention it again. Amr Rabbi Yehuda Meshmur. Kahanim Levim Yisraelim Yisraelim Ma'ak Penes Hakarvim. The Kahanim Levim and Yisraelim are essential to the validity of the offering. In other words, since they have to be standing on top of the carbon in order to recognize that in reality they are supposed to be the carbon, and the carbon is merely taking our place, and these are communal carbons, and they are the emissaries of the nation. They all have to be there. The Masnis in Tani, in a Brayse, was taught. We are now on 27A2. 27A2. Rav Shimon ben Elozer Oymel, Kahanim v'leviyim v'klei shir, Kahanim v'leviyim and the musical instruments, Ma'ak v'nes ha-karbin, are essential to the validity of the carbon. And what are they arguing? Shmuel holds Ikashiro Bipe. The Ikashiro, the principal music, is with the mouth, singing. Umar Savar of Shinan Ben Allah holds Ikashiro Bikeli, that the principal music is with instruments. Nothing. What is the difference? Everybody look at the Tysvis, <clears throat> fascinating Tysvis, the last Tysvis on the page. That means Tysvis, Mar Soba Ikashiro Bepe. Everybody see it? Yeah. The last Tysvis. 
if I say that the Iker Shear is prepared that the principal music is vocal, therefore, Vilakach Hakol Kisherim. Everyone is a kosher to sing. Afilu Psulim, even those that have genealogical Psulim problems. Vafilu Mamzerim, even bastard children, which are Lo Yavai Bekal Hashem, which are not think, still they can go ahead and sing. Lo Shira, because they can say Shira, why? The loy habi ela bepe, because it's only with the mouth. Ula, yes, one, yes. Um, it should be three daughter. Okay. Number three. Number three. Loy mashira. Afilu mamzer loy mashira. The loy habi ela bepe. It's only with the mouth. Ulaman the Oma Ikashira Bikali, but according to the Mandayama of Shimon Ben Laza, that the Ikka Shira, the principal music, is with instruments in Cain. In that case, Sarah Shiru Kahanim, it needs to be Kahanim, Oi Leviim, or Leviim, the Hakeli Zema Habi Kaidish. Because musical musical instruments are holy. What is going on here? According to the Mandiyama that holds, Ikashira is prepared. And the Rabbam Paskins this way. And the Smag Paskins this way. Ikashira, the principal music in the Beisam Migdash, is with the mouth. That's the Ica. If it's with the mouth, even anyone could do it. Not just the Koyin, not just the lady. It could even be a Psul. It could even be a Mamzer. Because it's only Bepe. No. What does that mean? Because Pe, feel it everybody. Words is Hevel. It's a breath. Words are not an action. Let me repeat this. Words are not a miser. So singing is not a miser bepoil. It's not an action that you can feel. It's not a tangible action. All you can do is hear it. Hearing and mouth is only breath. And that's why we have the din. A lab she'en boy maisa. A lab that does not have an action. Ain't like in Allah. So for an example, washin hara. <clears throat> is a terrible avera, but it's done by the mouth. You know what the halach is? <clears throat> you don't get malchus. It's a lab she'en boy maisa. Because it's in Lab Shane Bamas, it doesn't have an action. Everyone. Now go back. So nonetheless, you see from this Taisvis, it ain't so. Even the Mamzerim, even the Psulim, even regular Israel can sing in the base of Wait, yeah, well, let, uh, let me go back to your question. The Murin Mesekta humor says that even a Vodim can use the uh, can play the instrument, so you right. see that Avodim can play instruments. So they so they so, so it's that, a little, uh, this process is not so easy to a, right. I'm not that I'm clear. Not, but now, but let's first go back to your question. Your question was way back at the beginning of this Gemara: the Kula Alma, Mias, Shikur Osab and By every by any rate, everybody agrees that you cannot do bless the people while you're intoxicated. And the Gemara asked me, no, honey, mealy, how do you know this? And my father asked yesterday, what do you mean, honey, mealy? It's, where's the covet? It's not covered for us. It's not covered for them. It's not covered to the rebellion. It's how can you bless? How can you bless with your mouth? 
But the answer is, when you bless with your mouth, you're not actually doing an action. You know what it is? It's a devarim shabalev. Shira is the gematria of 515. Tefillah, davening, is the gematria of 515. The Aschanan, calling out, is also 515. Right. Because Ezu hu avayda shebelev, we all know, havi yayma, zu tefillah. What is an avayda, service of the heart? I will say it, tefillah. That same Gemara that you're quoting, Daddy. It's a devotion okay. of Shebelay. It's in the heart. It's in the heart. If it's in the heart, everyone can do it. Even the Mamza, even the Apostle can go ahead and cry out and dive into HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Can yeah, do Shira to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If right. Everybody can do it. That's right. why because, Daddy, you know what the Pasuk says? Yayin misamche levav enosh. Wine brings joy to the heart of a man. Who wrote that? Tovar HaMelech wrote that. Yayin misamche levav enosh. Wine brings joy to a man's heart. So, Yayin brings joy. In, in moderation. Ah. Uh, Yayin brings joy to a man's heart. And therefore, there would be a hava amina. There would be a thought to say that you can bless Klai Yisro with Birchus Akoi, with Birchus Kahanim, even if you drink, because now you're on a high, and you can go, Levav Enosh. What better way if it's from the heart? The Gemara is coming to tell us, Shichrus, don't go overboard. Exactly. Don't go over it. And that's for your question, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Okay? About the Ebed Kanani playing the music in the Beis Amidosh. That is a very good question. But the answer to that question is, and I'm going to be talking about it, hopefully, on Pesach this year. That is my topic on Pesach this year. So. I can't wait. Said, so, an Ebed Kanani is a full-fledged Jew. He has Dine Ki'isha. And if you look in the Hawachis and the Gaitz Haraim, you will see, do you know when his Mila happens, Daddy? You know when his Mila happens? His Mila what? doesn't happen when you purchase him. His Mila happens if, an, if, an, if a Shivcha has a baby. That baby gets his Mila on day eight. Because in Avis at Din Shaina Bayid, he has Dino Kiisha. He has Dino Kiisha. So right. if you hold that Ika Shira is prepared, that the main Shira is with your mouth, and the musical instruments are only an accompaniment, but not part of the Ika Avoida, then even the women can play the music. <clears throat> And if the women can play the music, even they have a Kanani can play the music. Right. But you know, where did you say that Kamara was that they have a Kanani can play the music? In the Yuma. You remember where? <laughs> right on friend have to look All right, it up. when you remember, let me know. Evan, I'm just writing this then. Evan Kanani, uh what he called the uh, what he called uh, Shira Shira Bikli. Okay, and I'm just adding it to my... It's, it's, a, it's a machloikis. It's not really... A, I know, but according to that shot, that would have some to say, be... Some say it has to be Levian. Only Levian. Right, for this daddy. That's Toysvis. Right yeah. here. It's Toysvis. If I say that it is Shira, is she, Shira is Bekele, <laughs> if it's I be Kale, 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 Kale. But if I say it's Bekele, then any then the musical instruments are only an accompaniment. They're only right. they're not an it, and anybody can do it. That's okay. exactly it. It's this thesis that's explaining that tomorrow. Beautiful. All right. Let's keep going because we're way behind, but I knew that this call was passing, which explains that your question of Minohani Mili. Now you know the Minohani Mili. 
Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> now you know why that by some customers, the drummer is many times is a guy. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very good. Moshe established eight mishmars. Arba me alazov, arba me isava. Four with the lazer, four with the isama. Bar Shmuel, the mid of the last sheish esrei. Shmuel came and moved it up to sixteen. Bar David, the mid of the last of the David went and established it at twenty-four. Shenema b'snas aboyim l'malchus David in the fortieth year, the la of the kingdom of David, the last year of David. They were sought that they were found among the mighty men of valor in Yazid Gilad. So that means that once David HaMelech established the 24 Mashmiris and Shlomo HaMelech built the base Amigdash with 24 Mashmiris, that was it. 24 Mashmiris were established. Moshe established eight Mashmiris in Israel. Some of four from the family of the laws of the son of Aaron, and four from the son of the son of Aaron. But David is Shlom Shmuel. The Nido Yal Abra Esri Abba. David came with Shmuel. Remember the previous one did not mention Shmuel. David came with Shmuel and set the number at twenty-four. Shenema Hema Yisa David and Shmuel arrived in Munasa. It is they who David and Shmuel received. The Navi, the, the, the seer established for all time. Says the Gemara Hachikama, Misaida Yishol David, Bishmuel Aramazi. From the legislation of David and Shmuel, and me to our lesson, Rabbi. It's exactly that the number of Mishma was set at 24. And that was it. Tanya Ido, another Bryce that taught. But they were not in sequence. Uh, they, what? They were, they were not together. The The... Uh, one for Shmuel made the uh, sixteen, and, uh, and he made and he made the other. He brought up the twenty-four. Correct. Right. Tanya Ida, Moshe Tikkun Lahem Liyisol Sheis Esrei Mishmaris. Another writer says Moshe established sixteen Mishmaris. Shmaya Me Alazer Mishmaya Me Yisama Eight for Alazer and Eight for Yisama. Not four, but eight. Shiravu Bnei Alazer Bnei Yisama. But in this family. Of Elaza became much greater than the family of his son, or more children. They reset it to 24, 16 for Elaza and 8 for his son. And the descendants of Elaza were found to be more numerous than the descendants of his son. And they divided them, the descendants of Allah, into 16 houses. And for the descendants of Yisab, to eight houses. One extra family unit for Allah, but for Yisab, the unit has as big. That means for every Mishma of Allah, Another Mishma was added, making a total of 16. In other words, 8 times 2, but the number of Mishmas for his summer remained the same, 8. My boy, man, what is that extra thing telling us? Just as, as the descendants of Allah increased in number, so the descendants of each summer increased in number. In other words, we're on 27A1. Originally, the Mishmar of Yisama was four, and now it became eight. Tashma, no. Base of Echad Uchaz, the Elazar, Uchaz, the Echad, the Yisama. That they all began at eight. They both were eight. And then Elazar was increased to 16. To Yofta the Rav Chamabai Guria. It turns out that this is a referation to the opinion of Chamabai Guria that said that it was. That Moshe Rabbeinu instituted sixteen. The Makot Rav Chama Ben Guria, he only did four and four. He only instituted eight. Amalach Rav Chama Ben Guria Tanoi said it's only the Machlekes Tanoi. Banan Hamiti Hai Tana Di Amish Shmaya, and I hold according to the one that Moshe only set up eight, four and four. No biggie. 
we have the machlaikis of what really happened at the beginning. It's an historical, we, we're unclear historically what happened. Tomu Rabban, Arba Mashmais Elu Minagoyla. After the Korban Bayis Rishon, in the 70 years before the second base of Migdash, before they were allowed to go up and start rebuilding the second base of Migdash, as you know, we lost a good chunk of Klai Yisrael. Ten of the tribes out of the 12 more or less disappeared. If this sounds astonishing, it shouldn't be. We just lived through the 70 years of the Soviet Union. In 70 years, i.e. a little more than three generations, a generation being 20 years, if in three generations there's no Tyra, it disappears. It's very oh. hard. It, it does not disappear completely. And it will eventually come back. But we can see in our own lifetimes the effect of 70 years. The danger of 70 years of assimilation. Tanu Rabbana. And the reality is our history is this. All of Judaism was orthodox in 1799. In the year 1800, Napoleon opened up the ghettos. By the year 1900, 100 years, only 10% were Orthodox, 90% were non-Orthodox. It yes. took only 100 years of freedom, of opening up of the ghettos to create this problem that we have today. It also created the modern version, the modern version of anti-Semitism. Because now Jews were out in the world, competing in the world, and succeeding in the world. And that, of course, twisted everybody else's nose the wrong way. Right. Until we ended up with Hitler of Akshabab Zichram and the Holocaust, which only took 139 years from the opening of the ghettos, which is nothing in the terms of history, but enormous in the terms of Jewish history. Tanu Rabbana. Arba Mashmaris Elam and Only four Mashmaris of the original 24 came up from Eretz Yisrael from Golos Bava, from the Babylonian exile when, when the second Bidish was being built. With El, with Ezra Seifer. Anyway, Yada Chorin Hashko Be'ema. Under Nevi'im Shebenayim, the prophets that arose among them, okay? Okay, the prophets that arose among them. Chalukah Be'em, we are now 27 B1. And we're going to stop over here shortly. The Chalukah Be'em, Midam Ha'ra, Esra Ba'ba, divided them and made them into 24 different Mashmaris. Each family was divided into six. Then they wrote their names of the Mashmaris on 24 pieces of paper. Kula Nostobiklape. All of them were mixed up and put into the box. Boyada, the dog came first. You die. You die. You die. He took his portion and the portion of his colleagues, the total of six. And miraculously, all six were his family members. Right. So the family groups ended up staying together miraculously. I hope, I hope it happened the same the same yeah. Yeah. All of them miraculously picked their own. And the Nebim among them stipulated this was. The Antri Knesset Sagadana, we're talking about Mordechai all the way up to Shimon Atzadik. Right. That even if the family of Yahoya, who was the chief of all the Mashmaris in the first base of Megdash, were to later change their minds and come up from the exile back to the Red. Make Aliyah back to Eretz Yisrael. They're going to be at the back of the line. Yodaya, Mimikone, they were not getting back their place. What was Good the avenue that they would get back their place? Because the halacha is, if somebody kills by manslaughter, by accident, 
and has to go to the Ore Miklot, and then the Kayan Godel dies, and now Who's he's that? He goes back to his original position of authority. So I'm out of thought. We went into Golos. We went into exile. It's like the Ore Miklot. So therefore, when I come back, I get back my thing. Ezra said, yeah, if you came back, when you could come back. If you decided to stay back already, no, nah, now you're not getting your authority back. He will not ask Yedaya from his place. Yahadah will be principal and Yahadah will be supporting it. They, they wrote it in. They said he will be supporting it. Okay? One more. We're going to go with one more group again. The and the Israelim assigned to that Mishnah of the Maimon would go to their towns, the current rights of Horatius, and would read from the rights of Horatius, from the creation. Minoani Mili, how do you know? Amar of Yaakov, Amar of Rabasi, Imole Mamodais, if not for the Mamodais, in other words, the offerings which are the focus of the Mamodais, the carbon tummy, like the sky, heaven and earth would not remain in existence. Shinema, Bayayma, Shem. And Abram said, Adonai, Hashem, Hashem Elikim, How should I know that I am to inherit, inherit Eretz Yisrael? Both of us are on the way. Amar Abram, Rabbi Yisraelim, Shema Yisrael, Chaitim Lefanaka, perhaps Klai Yisrael is going to sin, Ba'at Oisel Lehem, Kitar HaMabu, Kitar HaFloga, and you will do to them like you did to the generation of the flood and the generation of the dispersion, I'm a loyal love, I won't. I'm a lafana of the Vinish Lenam, I be any but my Erishena. Let me know how I shall inherit it. By what means shall Kayasol atone, repent for their sins, and be saved from destruction? I'm a lay, he answered it, Kachli Ego of Mishalashes. But A is Mishalashes. Bring me three calves and three goats. The offerings will achieve atonement for their sins. That means if it's not for the offerings, cloud is so, and therefore the entire world would cease to exist. It's therefore appropriate for the members of the Maimon who dive into the divine acceptance of their offerings to read from the creation of heaven and earth. And that's even today. We say today, Unishalma Farim Sipasenu. And we will pay we will the Shalma we will pay our offerings with our mouth. Meaning, with tefillah, with davening, we go ahead and cover our kabbalas. Amal lefano. So why doesn't almost ne- nobody says kabbalas around? Okay, that, that's a different question. Different question. Because you know why? <coughs> They're relying on the maimed. They're relying on the maimed to say it. You know, in yeah. every shul, they rely on the guy like me and you. <laughs> that's it. That there's, there's, in every shul, there's a couple of people that always say kabbalas. That's right. the moment. That's the moment. Very good. Okay. There you go. Hello. And no yotros either. And no yotros either. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yotros is like God. They're God. They've been ripped out. God. <laughs> so, fun of. We're almost done. This is the last paragraph. Amal Lefanov, Rabbi Nishla, the master of the world, Tainach, Bizman, Shabbat Samikdash Kayyam, while the holy debate Samikdash was in existence, Bizman, Shain, Beis Samikdash Kayyam, but in the time of the Beis Samikdash is not in existence, Mate Alein, what's going to be with them? Amaloi, Kavat, Takati Lem, Stay the Kabbalah. I've already established for them the sections of this, the biblical sections of Kabbalah. Whenever they will read them before me, I will consider it as if it was brought before me, and I will forgive them all their abeirs, all their abeirs. So the truth is, one should try to say kabonis every morning. One should try to say before Baruch Shama, before I do, the kabonis. And be forgiven for all the sins. It's very, it's but very it's, important. It is very important. But the truth is, Daddy, <clears throat> that what I said as a joke is not a joke. Those of us that try to say kabbalas 
should have in mind the entire tzibur, should have in mind the entire community. Yeah, because, well, because we are the maimed. Those of us who say it, that's what happened then. They had a maimed who were the emissaries of the people. That's what it should be. Very good. This is where we're going to stop.